Today we are going back in time to 1990 and opening a 35 year old box of vintage basketball cards. 1990 hoops was the first set of cards that I opened as a kid which sparked my love for card collecting. I'm feeling nostalgic and really excited to pull some Hall of Fame player cards out of this set including Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson. You know what time it is, it's pack rat time. All right guys, we finally here, we finally made it. What is up everybody? We spent the whole day setting this up with the, with the camera here. We got face cam now, we got these these little mic things. Yeah, we got lavalier mics and everything. You so. know what that means? We're YouTubers, dude. Yeah, we're finally YouTubers. We're YouTubers. Right. Let's go, baby. I'll so, hey, if you're here right now, I appreciate you. We're opening up this box of vintage basketball cards. We've been getting a lot of uh, requests for like some basketball cards lately because we haven't done it yet on the channel. And wow, Kaz, this hasn't, this was sealed 35 years ago. That is insane, bro. We just broke the seal. Wow, look at that, dude. Oh, by the way, let's see if I can see if I can see if it was still on here. There was a price tag on, is it Oh on yeah, here? show the camera. Oh yeah, see if I can get this in here. See if I can, see if it focuses. Yeah. Uh, you can't see it because it's reversed, but it, was, it says 13.89. Oh yeah, the camera's reversed. Yeah, so it was originally sold for 13.89, but look at this, guys, look. Wow. Oh my God. These. I mean, the packs are just so weird, Kaz. It's like, uh, it's almost like a. They're like a. Um, it's really waxy. It's like the true, the true wax card. Yeah, so this hopefully is... they're not stuck together either. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's what we're kind of hoping. So. Old old cards have a uh, have a track record for being uh, stuck together because they've been sitting there so long. So let's see here. Um, so we yeah, got. We're just gonna get rolling, I guess. I don't know, Kaz. We'll. we'll... Yeah, we got 36 packs in here. We there's 15. There's like 500. What is that? I think we there's like 540 cards in this box. So we're just gonna start zooming through them. Yeah, right. baby. Oh man, dude, these it's like a, a plastic yeah. bag or something. You know who Rick Adelman is? I I, I don't. He's like this is a coach card. Right? Also, I was eight years in the making when this came out. So. Oh! Dude, dude, this is that's no, 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 dude. Are you kidding? I didn't even get to talk about anything yet, bro. The number one card in the box, and it's the well, it's the second biggest card in the box, and we pulled it right off the bat. All right, look at the centering, though, you guys. You see this? Yeah. This is this is what we're talking about. Like, That's we're gonna, crazy. We're gonna pull some Jordan cards, but you can see like pretty obviously that the centering on this is not good. But I mean, we that was Dude, the first pack. That's the first card in the first pack. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're gonna set oh, aside the the hippies. So there's yeah. uh, there's some really cool cards in this set that have nothing to do with um, uh, like being a Hall of Famer. Actually, there's uh, some unique cards where, at least in one of them, um, you're gonna see a couple murderers in the background as they're like on the run, like in real life at this time in the 90s. So believe it or not, that is actually the number one card in value in this set is a Mark Jackson card. So Mark Jackson, and people are kind of like, well, who the hell is Mark Jackson? You know. Um, oh, sorry. Who the f is Mark Jackson? Yeah, family, yeah, yeah. family friendly around here. <laughs> um, but yeah, in the background of his picture, there is two brothers sitting there that are. Uh, well, you can look them up for yourself when, if we get. One. Is it the Mendez brothers? So Melendez. Right? Melendez. I believe. I think it's the Mendez. We should double check that. There's Mendes. a David Robinson card. David Robinson, very cool. We'll set that cool. aside. All star card too. There's a rookie card, and you know who this is? Uh, I don't. M Mikhail Thompson. Michael. You, I, I believe that's Clay Thompson's dad. Actually? You can pay, well, fact check that, though. I will fact check that here in a second. Really cool. How about oh, that man. Man, Jordan card popping out of the freaking first That's crazy. First, first card of the first pack. Pretty, pretty, pretty freaking cool. So, Spud Webb, that was like one of my favorites. You know how tall this guy was? Oh, man. He was like, wasn't he tiny? Man, he's uh, five foot seven. Five seven. Super short. Divac rookie. There's another rookie card. Yeah, so hey, uh, shout out our boy in the comment section. You already know, Kaz. Little, little Nick. Hey, hey. Magic Johnson card. Oh, Magic Johnson All Star card. Charles Oakley. The All Star cards with the gold border back. Dude, this is. Dude, the centering in these cards, by the way, ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. If you could get, I mean, I think PSA 10, you can you could be a 60 40. I actually just read that not too long ago. So oh, really? So it doesn't have to be like Ooh. perfect, perfect. Dennis Rodman, Defensive Player of the Year. DPOY. Uh, before he has any uh, dye in his hair, dude. Mm -hmm. And then look at that, Charles Barkley. Man. Ooh. We're getting, we're getting some pretty cool, uh, good players already. It's so funny seeing all these players because it's like you, another Dennis Rodman. Yep. The All-Star and the regular and the base in the same, uh, same pack. 
So we're looking for the Larry Bird, the Magic still. So yeah, that Mark Jackson card is uh, really expensive. And then there's also a card in this set. Sam Vincent. Sam Vincent, yes. Yep. So the story goes is somebody apparently stole MJ's jersey. During a game, like before a game or something. Before like a game or during a game. So he had to come out with a replacement jersey, which was like number 12. And uh, it's like the only card, ba basketball card out there where he's in a different. <gasps> this is a good card. In a different jersey. A rookie, David Robinson. It's a good card. So yeah, so we're looking for a, a couple of cards where it's not really about the players. You know who that the is? Del Curry. You know Steph Curry's dad? That's Steph Curry's dad. Woo! It's cool to, to like go back and see like. You got uh, some fathers in here. Oh, look at this look card. At, <laughs> that's, that's great. The quality could the cut, Look at the cut on that. They almost cut the half oh, the name man. off. That's amazing. Oh, this is a good card. John Camp rookie. That's a very good card for this set too. That's I believe top ten. Obviously not a you know gonna be a ten. This. Oh, Did we get another one. We, we got, got his all star card. card, dude. We got two MJ's in four packs. Bro. That's really good. That's really good. We don't even have time to talk about anything. We just get them. I love that. Of course, like, how's the guys, centering? You guys see it? The, it's got a thick side on this yeah. side, thin side on that. Off on everything. But it's gonna be like this whole box. The C. But hey, you know what? I'm really glad about this. I'm really glad that these are not sticking together. Absolutely, yeah. They, these are coming out just like normal. Yeah, they're... Man, these have been... It's, these yeah, have that's so crazy, I think. 35 years. 35 years. 10 years older than... 10 more years than I've been born. Insane. Alexander... Larry Nance. Uh, his son's in the league, too. And look at David Robinson's in this. Um, Is that David Robinson? I mean, that's the Admiral, sorry. That's not David Robinson. That's the Admiral. Uh, but yeah, there's so many fathers in, in this set. <laughs> in the green... It's There's funny. Wolf. It's funny, like the. I wonder what like the like the the percentage of like dads and sons that go to the league kind of thing. Quite a few. Isaiah Thomas. That's a cool card. All star card. card. Yeah, he's a great. Player. This would be a cool one to like do the do like the all star set because I'm sure they did a all star card for each player. I yeah. believe so. I can't believe we got two MJs already. Yeah. All star and the regular. How many MJs are we gonna get? We need like an MJ counter. Over there. Yeah, maybe we will. Go on. We'll put one up when we edit the video. I love that. That's kind of cool. Hey, there's our first Scotty card. Scotty Pip. Dude, look at They almost cut his name off, yeah, too. That's some <laughs> the bordering is crazy, some bro. Weird damage right at the top. Oh, man. But hey, it's a Scotty Pip card, 1990. You know how old these are? I mean, when they were printing these, they didn't give a crap. There's a patch of viewing, too. They, they, uh, they were not expecting, you know, this is before basketball cards took off. It wasn't until Michael Jordan that, you know, was winning his championships and stuff in the 90s that, that it, Jim Peterson, the voice of the Timberwolves. That's bro. actually sick. That's great. As you know, we're from Minnesota, so. That's our guy. He doesn't have that hair anymore, but shout out Jim Pete. That's crazy, actually. Yeah, he calls all the games for uh, Valley Sports North. Steve Johnson, Randy Allen. Sorry if I'm going slow. I'm just in no, no. Mitch Richmond. This is your golden era, so yeah, take as much time as you need. Larry Drew. It's just cool to see all these old players that I didn't get a chance to open up this many packs when I was a kid. You know, I would get like one or two or three. This one has like a little hole in it. Yeah, there's been a couple like that actually. Oddly enough. Yeah, but it doesn't I highly doubt any of these have been No, no, no. This is Akim Olajuwon, a great player. He still trains people to this day, his footwork and stuff, guys. But he still works with centers. There's a Magic Johnson card. This is the first Magic Johnson Ooh. card that I ever owned as a kid. And uh, so MVP. So he obviously won MVP that year. Man, he, was, he was insane. And look at the actual, actually the centering on this one is really good compared to like a lot of the other ones. Oh yeah, it's a little off top the bottom, but, but compared to the other ones. Really, really good really compared good. to the other ones. There's Jim P again. And it's funny to see how many like like they get like there's 540 cards in the set so like to see how many like there's duplicates obviously in the same box like realistically for the necessarily the quote-unquote like good cards in, a, in today's set you're never going to get a duplicate in the same box you know what's crazy is this guy's rookie card was actually going crazy in like tens drazen petrovic i was reading about that Pet but i don't really petrovic. understand why i mean i never i wasn't familiar with him as a player actually anything. you want to know what i think when i was looking at the top 10 he was like up there but it didn't have like a description it was just like this card's worth like i don't know 70 bucks as a psa 10 or something but yeah i think he's definitely for some reason got one of the more valuable oh, oh on top it. again <laughs> on Dude, top again that's crazy we're, we're, mj Calvin, run it up what the heck that's three of course not I'm not a great Bro. centering, but we're we're looking for a really good center cut. Dude, this is uh, crazy, actually. Kevin McHale, he, he's a... Uh... Yeah, look at this, guys. For all you Minnesota fans out there, you see that? 
College, Minnesota. Drafted yeah. first round, third pick overall. He's from Hibbing, Woo! Minnesota, guys. Crazy. It's kind of a little fun fact. Another. Hey, our Aki Malajuan. Uh, all star card. All star card. Sweet. We'll take it. We'll take it. This is a, this is a fun opening. Oh, and uh, actually, we're going to do another video. Here's Carl Malone, but we hate Carl Malone. We hate Carl Malone? Yeah. Yeah, we hate Carl Malone. He has like some. Uh, you know, he impregnated a uh, oh, geez. pretty young person when he was... Oh, jeez. Yeah, so... All the homies hate Carl Malone. We hate him. So, well, I do anyway. And if you guys want to fight me, you can. I don't care. I'll take you. Xavier Mc... Dude, it's so crazy, Jesus. There's Reggie Miller. One of the best shooters of all time. Bob Weed. Look at that guy. Ooh, two coaches Cotton back. Simmons. <laughs> Dude, I can't get over the space cam. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think it, it definitely brings... Um, there's a Scotty card, all-star card. Looks solid. Scotty Pippen. Mark Price. Um, what do you guys think of the face cam? Are you guys digging it? Can we do it more? Scotty Pippen. Was he he was part of the what did they call the uh, was he a piston? Or was he yeah. a did he play a dungeon? Uh, no, when when he won all the, yeah, when Mike won all those championships it was with uh, Scotty. Okay. Yeah. A lot of people argue that um, Mike would not ever have had the success that he did without without Pippen. Yeah, he's like the Batman and Robin kind of thing. Cool. And then later on, uh, Rodman joined them, okay. and they won more. But Rodman wasn't always with them. In fact, cool. Rodman used to play. That's this is a good card too. Glenn Rice, Rice. Rice. Um Rodman used to play for the Pistons, and he was part of the Bad Boys. That's what they used. To, I was gonna ask what they were. Something like they were called the very Bad Boys controversial team back then because. Uh, you know, they would do, they were very physical to say. Uh, we'll say that, very physical. Mikhail. They got a lot, they got a lot, away with a lot of stuff back then that uh, wouldn't fly these days. You can't even, you can't even brush up on somebody nowadays. I was gonna say, we're, we're gonna, we got kind of a little tease, maybe I think for the next video too. Here's a Dominique Wilkins, a Ooh, dunk champion. Really cool. Oh, he's got some crazy, I was just watching some dunk, old dunk contest stuff. Yeah, he's one of the best to ever do it, really. Sean Elliott, rookie card. Card. Oh man, there's just this is so cool for it some is, reason. It's just so cool, man. So I just love old cards. Really cool. It just brings me back. And believe it or not, these boxes are relative. I think they're going for like less than a hundred dollars. Fifty, fifty bucks. If 50 you get lucky, you could probably find one for fifty. But I would say, you know, safely, you could probably get one of these boxes for sure for like eighty bucks. Yeah. And obviously, the cards aren't worth even the MJ is really unless they're like. Graded tens, not yeah, the, gra like, the grades are what you really want if you want um, value. There's another rookie these. card right there on the back. Yeah, if you want the value, but hey, I don't really care, man. No, I'm just happy to open up packs. Yeah. As always, you guys already know. You know, we're just a couple pack rats. We're just some pack rats, so we just enjoy it. there. Two cups. Another, um, another. I almost said MJ. I mean, another magic. Yeah, it is another MJ. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> back to back, but it's ooh, just the fun. checklist cards. Yeah. I forgot they had those. It's just fun to. Fat Lever. What a that, name. Look a at that name. name. That's crazy. Walter Davis. Blue Edwards. Ro Rolando Blackman. Not super familiar. He's on the All-Star team. There's no. a... It, uh, look at That's another good... It's the same card, and yeah. it's like cut well again, too. Yeah. You know? Like, both of his... Both of his have been... Both of his were cut pretty... Pretty... Fairly, I would say. So, was there any teams back... In around this era that aren't around, like the uh, the Super Sonic. What did they turn into? Who did they turn into? Uh, OKC. Okay. So okay. Did they turn so into when the Super Sonics got sold, they got sold to Oklahoma, and uh, that's what happened to um, the Lakers. The Lakers are originally from Minnesota. Yeah, they used to be the Minneapolis, Minneapolis Lakers. Lakers. Look at the damage on this car. Oh, <laughs> it's hard to see on the camera. It's all the whole car. edge is like folded up. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, I mean that's what you've come. To, what you gotta expect with a thirty-five-year-old set like this. You're not gonna. You're not gonna see, especially you know who this is. Scott Brooks. I should. I don't he know. was a coach for some really good teams in the recent years. I, I hope he's still coaching. Actually, I'm not sure. There's a Charles, Charles Barkley, Barkley card. All-star card. Um, so the cool thing about this set too is actually there's another. So this is ninety ninety one hoops, but it's considered series one. So there's actually also a. Uh, Wow, I can't talk. A series two box as well. I was gonna say, I was thinking about teasing it, Cat. Yeah, I did. Hey, I, I'm just gonna go out, head out and say it. So, if you guys like this video, if you run this video up, we might open the series two box. Yeah, so it's gonna have different cards, I believe, right? Yeah, different. I believe so. Yeah. yeah, it's not gonna be all. The series one and two are gonna have a lot of the same cards, but there's gonna be different ones 
it also in them that you can only get. There's our first horizontal card. Nice. Like coach card. I wonder if they called them parallel back then. I think they did. But Series 2 has really cool artwork cards. It's got a really cool MJ cartoony type card. They have, they have a really cool set of that. So. David Robinson again. Yep. So we got a few and Michael Jordans. Who did David Robinson play for? Tia Spurs. He was a Spurs, okay. Yeah, the Spurs have been incredibly lucky with... Um, centers? Yeah, centers over the years. As you can see now, they have uh, Victor Wembanyama, uh, a generational talent, apparently. You know, what anybody can expect yeah. so far, anyway, as far as... They also have my man Tim Duncan. Or had, I should say. Yeah, exactly. But, man. David Robinson, Tim Duncan. You could make an argument for Tim Duncan, I think. Mm. One of the best, for sure. The best. One of the best centers of all time. They called him, uh, you know, Mr. Fundamental because he was just like, he didn't do anything extra. He just kind of like played smart, you know, and that's like a coach's dream. You know? Yeah, just right. play smart, do the fundamental things that, that get you those wins. Yeah. Oh, I got to watch the mic. I keep crossing my arms. I feel like I'm part covered. Yeah, is our audio looking good? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is the first, this is like a trial video, so hopefully... Look Hopefully at that, the works. same Scotty Pippen card with that same marking on the top. So I wonder if they get cut, like... That, that little, like, circle on it? Yeah. So I wonder I've only if... seen it on the other Pippen cards. Like... Oh, I wonder if it's like they cut them all at the same time or something. And, you know. That is pretty weird, I will say. But... Interesting, for sure. We haven't seen the Sam Vincent card. No. It's Or the uh, Mark Jackson card. We haven't cards. seen the Mark Jackson card. Um, I wonder if they're in the series one or if they're maybe limited to the series two. Uh, I think they should be in there for sure. I think they would. Yeah. Um, it's crazy to see the see the uh, the difference in what the cards used to look like and what they look like now yeah. with all the print. Like, if you get an uh, like most of the cards have the same design in these, you know what I mean? So like, if you like nowadays, there's all the cards are look different. Patrick Ewing, one of the greatest centers to ever play the game, for sure. It's funny, I'm watching you open the cards on the video. I'm not even looking at the know, cards I like, I like looking up there, too. Making <laughs> sure watching. I'm doing it right. Danny Ainge. <laughs> that lift shrimp. What a name. Yeah, he was a good player, too. Okay. He was in some movies, too, or some TV shows, so, like, a little cameo. Not, there was a TV show I was watching. I can't think of what it was called, but... Mm. Par Parks and Rec, maybe? Imagine if they had serial numbered cards back then. I wonder when serial numbered cards came. Does anybody know? Let us know down below. It has to be in the 90s, some, somewhere in the mid late 90s yeah. I'd, I'd assume there we there, go first that's Larry first card effort, right? dude they're always on the top and yeah, what's with like the front? i don't know we're getting we're getting hooked up here with the number one cards in the packs yeah what the heck that one i'll take it I'm honestly sure. centering on that one's not bad hey either. kenny the jet smith does he play for the hawks or who did he? um he uh he's like he's on uh, tnt with um like shack and them oh okay yeah, he's like one of the voices uh e -E. john paxton Mark Eaton, Robert, Robert Parrish. He was a big name, wasn't he? Yeah. For a while. Yep. He was an all star. Finally got a Larry Bird card, though. Larry, Larry, Larry. Larry. Man, they all got a little bit of. Oh no, that's just the. This card's actually in really good condition. Yeah, it's not bad, actually. Sure. Went to India. I, it's funny, they had. Look at that. Another Scotty Pippen with that little. That, that same on. thing. They have them in cards. It had to have been like. Hang on, I'm going to show. It's really cool, too. So they. If it, so they got college up here as well as as nba so that's kind of cool too yeah scotty pippen though yeah they, they must do something with something with the cutting they must have all been cut um, oh, that's funny though all three of them yeah thing. i wonder if like all the jordan cuts so far are like identical too you know like a lot of uh we've seen a lot of mitch richmond's they do maybe they uh maybe those other cards are only in the series too you think we would have seen one by now well, maybe, I don't know. I guess I don't know how many cards were in this set. I should find that checklist card. Yeah, there's a lot, if I remember right. There's so gotta be. 36 packs in this push box, 15 cards per pack. We're gonna have a lot of cards here mm -hmm. at Probably. the end of the day. We're gonna just keep, we're gonna end up just keeping duplicating everything. Jerry Sloan, a coach card. Who was like the number one, like who were the good coaches? Like who was the coach of the, Man, of like... the Bulls, you know? Like when they were out in LA? Yeah, Bill Jackson. Bill Jackson. Oh. Wasn't he a Lakers coach? Like, yeah. He recently? coached, uh, well, no, he coached uh, Jordan yeah. and Scotty okay. with their championships. Yep. And then he went and coached Kobe, Kobe and Jack. Jack. Crazy. What a legend. I mean, he's got to be number one coach, right? I mean, he's up there. He's got more championships than the, the GOAT coach. Yeah, pretty much. 
I mean, it must be nice to have the best players of all time. <laughs> yeah, here he is. That's the little guy, right? Yeah, yeah this guy, uh, Muggsy Bogues. Yeah. Gonna, uh, he's sitting there. 5'3". Uh, five, 5'3". Three. Five, three. Bro, that's crazy. An absolute baller, dude. <laughs> Super good player. Moses oh, Malone. Yeah. They look glasses. Yep. Yeah. Did any of the... I knew the players used to wear like the big, what was the, the Kareem, didn't Kareem used to wear the big face There he is, speak of the, speak of oh, the Oh, we spoke of it, dude, he's got a card, that's crazy. Yeah, coach card, Phil Jackson. Look at that mustache. Oh, I'm gonna grow up, I'm gonna try and get that. I like it. I'm gonna die to like Phil Jackson. Hey, there's our first John Stockton. John Stockton. That's a Hall of Famer. I'm just on the sidelines talking about this. Shout out Battle Rap. It was a Battle Rap line. Oh, John Stockton. It's the only reason I knew who he was. We're getting through this pretty quick. Yeah, you might as well just keep repping him. Yeah. We were gonna talk. We were talking about switching or whatever, but this is, this kind of works out with the being both here. Dominique. There's the Dominique. Look at the Broken again. Look at on the on the top left, just like the other one. Bro, there's crazy. Like what? I don't know. That's, what? I, I, we're in some. You know, that is really weird, though. Sean Elliott. That's a good uh, clean cut. Hey, hey, look Bill at Muscle Man. What are you doing? If my, dude, I wish my last name was Muscle Man, bro. Muscle Man. What are you talking about? That's sick. That's funny. My mom. <laughs> hey, Chuck Barkley. Oh, look at that off cut right there. Tim Hardaway, rookie card. Yeah. Two rookies back to back. The rookie patch on these old cards is cool, too. Really cool. Heck yeah, man. It's fun to open up some basketball cards. Um, you guys want to see us open up another box of these? What, should we open up the Series 2? Man, these off center. Or should we go back to Pokemon uh, for our next box? We got Pokemon. Video. We got. We figured we try some vintage sports. Hey man, we're doing a little bit of everything. Minute Bull. Wow, this guy was really tall. Seven seven. Minute. Seven seven. He was a monster. How big was Yao Ming? He was like seven nine. Yeah, something like that. He was really big. Seven seven's crazy. Yeah. Reggie, Reggie. Miller. And there's an old Timberwolf. Brad Sellers. I think that, dude, that's like one of the first T-Wolves we've seen, isn't it? Card-wise? Um, yeah, the Wolves were, no, I think there was one other one, was but, it? um, the Wolves were, I think they came into existence in 89 as an expansion team. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, it, this was a fresh Wolves team here. This guy led the ball. There's a clean Dominique Wilkins card, finally, Ooh. dude. It doesn't have the ding on the corner. That is crazy, bro. Yeah. But I thought oh, they would all have that. Hmm. <laughs> They must have been on the next page of cutting at that point. Yeah, Patrick Ewing. The prints on these are just like so 90s. I love it. I love it. Bro, it's crazy that these are 35 year old cards. And they were sealed for all these years just chilling here. Uh, I'm just glad they're not sticking because you put them in like a. Yeah. You put them in like a room that has like, you know. This could have been a short video. <laughs> or a long video. Or a long video. Or a long video. Yeah. You might but, just like the humidity and stuff that can affect the cards. This you is know? best case for sure. Yeah, and to flip over uh, no water left and see, uh, flip over and see a couple Jordan cards today is just a good time. Dude, the first card in this box, we, I swear to God, you can't make it up. Hey! 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 So we finally got it. So there's one of the story cards. That guy right in front, you know who that is? There's MJ right there with a number 12 jersey on. Yep. It's crazy. Yeah, so that's so a really that's a actually decently yeah not horrible a little off left to right yeah but. it's a little off but i've seen way worse in this set so that's this is a cool car guys you got michael jordan wearing number 12 here so I, I feel like the only other real hit that i would love to see today would be the mark jackson card yeah we would, we would probably have technically have hit everything we really want to there's so, a larry i was gonna just say the larry bird all-star card but i mean and then we did yeah. Alex English. Uh, I love these 90s cards where they're just like, <laughs> like, like this. this is so 80s 90s. I love it. Bro, look at look at the, the, the sweater with the collar popping out. Now, I'm just glad like look at this pot right there. Oh, yeah. That's just crazy. Yeah. Super fun to open these up though. You know, they, people are going to want to open up uh, joining cards forever. You know, it's just going to be one of those things like it's the same with Kobe. Yeah. You know, there's the ding on the, the Dominique card, so I'm lucky with one of them. Mm -hmm. So it is, it's going to be one of those things where I might have to get a couple more of these boxes, Kaz, and, and stash them away. Yeah, absolutely. The they only get, just because. only get more valuable. And every time somebody opens up a box of them like we are today, that's one less box out there. I mean, I could probably dump my 401k, my life savings, everything, and we probably still couldn't get a Jordan rookie box, so. 
yeah, they're too expensive nowadays for anybody to really, I mean, unless you have tons of money, there's no way that you're gonna yeah. be able to buy it. And I think the issue is too, is there's so, like, obviously the boxes are probably real, but like, buying, like, people tell people not even to buy rookie card, Michael Jordan cards, because you don't know which ones, there's so many fakes out there. And it is very, it is the most faked card, like, in basketball, yeah. is the Jordan rookie cards. Yeah. So whenever I see one for sale, I just look away. Like I know people who wanted one and obviously they can't afford it. So they buy a fake one just to say they have like a card of it, even though it's fake. Like, so yeah, crazy. Uh, crazy one style. person has that much impact. Yeah, it, it is. Like I said earlier, um, basketball cards were not popular until Michael Jordan made them popular. But LeBron's still a GOAT. Yeah. Should we ruffle some feathers? We'll go. We'll go. We should, we'll run a poll, actually. <laughs> yeah, we'll uh, throw a poll down below. We'll throw a poll up on our um, <laughs> on our channel, and we'll do who's the goat. MJ or LeBron. I can already see the comments. Well, you can't compare the two. Which valid? There's NBA. A Sam Mitchell rookie card. NBA is a very different state now, but he ended up uh, coaching um, a wool, the Wolves for a little while. Sam Mitchell. Yeah. Yep. Crazy. Um. I was gonna bring it up too. Um, I don't know if this is a thing. Was there talk about NBA expansion? Yeah, so there is a little bit of uh, rumblings that um, that they're gonna want to bring back the uh, a team for Seattle. Okay. And, and then they also want to. Wasn't there a Las Vegas? Yeah, they want to talk about a Las Vegas team. So if there's another, another Sam Mitchell, we got two of them. Cool. Still looking for that Mark Jackson card. The Mendez brothers. I think it's just Mendez. I don't think it's Melendez. I yeah, think it's Mendez. It might be Mendez. There it is, dude! Oh my god. Dude, this video is scripted. This video is literally scripted. Bro, yeah. there they are, right? So there those in the two back. guys in the background. These two brothers? Right Crazy. here. Crazy. Courtside, by the way. This is at a time where they are basically, you know, murderers on the run. Like uncaught. And uh And it wasn't until after the fact that somebody was Years later somebody noticed these guys sitting in the background of this of this card and it just makes it a very interesting story card and uh yeah that's dude we're, the, we're getting all the cards we want today bro we've scripted this video we've talked about a card and then we pull it like three times in, this, in like three cards what, i'm telling you what a what this a, isn't scripted it's, I swear time, to God. Guys. What, it's just a fun time it's a good dude this is perfect i love it but larry and there is a larry nance his son is like i said earlier is in the league Larry Nance Jr. plays. Crazy. Yeah. Oh, wow. And and I believe I, I did some research on the story at one point. I, I believe they the money they took. Yeah. Because they, they I don't know, I don't want to talk, but they killed their parents, yeah. I think. And the money they took from their parents they used to buy the tickets yeah. to the game. They went to a basketball game which after is, they killed their parents. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Insane but. story. But that's why um, that card is interesting, you know, it's part of But yeah, there's history on that part card. Of history, now. yeah, it's just part of history. And Mark Jackson probably maybe loves it, maybe I don't know. I don't know how he feels about that. His That'd name's probably thrown around now. Yeah. But Ray, 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 look at that guy's hair, bro. Yeah. Another wolf. Nice. And they're shorts, man. Great hairline. Great hairline. <laughs> Chucky Brown. That guy was just called. Another Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas, yep. Mark Price. Do they do co uh they don't do many coach cards anymore, do they? You know, they're not as popular. There's still think. some out there, like, football-wise. I see some, like, Andy Reid and stuff. Yeah, they're just... Not like they used to be. Who? Richardson. Richardson. There you go. What a name. That's a really cool... That's a Wolves card, too. Yeah, that's a good card. Uh, yeah. Just for, like, the PC. I'm yeah. Throw that in my PC. Absolutely. Any, any Wolves card. I'm a fan of, uh, like, rookie Wolves cards. You know, you already know, guys. I love rookie cards. Just sweet. Got his skills. Got his skills. Kurt Rambis, he ends up being a coach for the Wolves, too, I think, later on. Those lovely glasses that they used to wear back. Steve, Steve Kerr! Yeah, you know who that is. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, I've seen him before. Was he, okay, was he a good player? Um, he was an, he played an important role in, with uh, Jordan. No, that's... He was on the Bulls? Yeah, he played with Jordan. Hey, that's a really clean uh, Magic Johnson card. Ooh, actually. Yeah, MVP Magic card. Not bad at all in the center. Very, very good centering on that one. And only three packs left already. Three guys. packs done. This video went quick, dude. This video was so fun. I thought this video was gonna take forever. And we spent dude. all morning setting up with the cameras and everything, guys. Just like, to literally. get to this point. 
Oh uh, man, it was, it's been a long day, but I'm just happy to be opening up some packs and I just want our videos to get better and better every single time. We're so working on it, we're working on it. If you guys are enjoying the content we're putting out, I humbly ask, please hit that like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on. It helps us tremendously. Down below. Reggie Miller. We appreciate it. Larry Nance. See if we can get one more Jordan card out of the last couple packs here. I'm being a little greedy. Well, with yeah. the way this video is going, dude. Got like three or four. Now that I said it. Yeah. Right? Now that I said That's it. That's what I mean. I'm telling you, we scripted this one somehow. Oh, I'm, I'm like, crazy I'm like cards behind you. I'm just. Well, um, you know, I'm watch. Hey, it, there's it, another rookie card. Third card in this pack is an MJ. Nope. Philip Robinson. That's cool rookie card. I love the the old where it says rookie on it. I love the. Yeah, it I love, just looks so 90s. You know? Way better than just the RC. I love that. You know. Just got Forrest Grant. This is Dominique. Liv Livingston. Down the last pack. Yeah, we're down to the last pack. Perfect. Hey, you guys watched the video all the way through. I just want to say I'm oh, grateful, we appreciate as heck. You. grateful as heck for you. Kaz and I, we, we do work really hard to make these videos um, as watchable as possible. <laughs> yeah, if we, we try to have fun with it. You know, I mean, we're just here to, I don't know. I mean, we were we would already do this without without I mean, filming. Exactly. But, you know, we're already having fun, so it's always a good time. But it, it's fun to like try to do it better every single time. You know, it's like kind of challenging. And I also like seeing our reactions too. Like I love watching back and like, when we hit something. That's what I'm saying. We get to like literally document opening yeah. up cards together, and it's yeah. just a great time. Down. Down. Boom, boom, boom. Last, card, and and we go. last card, Mike Schmreck. What a what a stud! Got a, hey man, got I had a blast Mike opening Shrek. up this box. If you guys want to see us open up this other box here, I yeah, got it right here behind me. There's a series two box as well. Comment down below. Yes, open it up. No, no, do not open it up. We got the we got these hoops. Series two right here. Should we open this one next, or should we go back to Pokemon cards? We got. I don't know if you can. We got a Skybox too. We got that old school oh, yeah, one. Very cool looking Skybox cards. Car uh, so, 91, 92 season. So we got options. We got options. So. If you guys like what you're seeing, stick around. We'll be here a while. So um, we'll, we'll see you pack rats later, eh? See you guys.